Hi and welcome to tutorial 85 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list then please go to markplex.com and I will be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. This tutorial demonstrates something very simple but also something where there are a few things to know. So what we're going to be doing is plotting three lines on the chart and you'll notice I've extended these lines a little bit to the right of the price action. What I've also done is added a label to the right of the line to the right of the chart just for one of the lines and you'll see if, as the price action develops that that label will stay in exactly the same position. Now even though this is fairly simple and straightforward you do have to be really careful with TradeStation text elements and line elements because otherwise known as drawing objects because if you for example were to try and access a drawing object that didn't exist what would happen is the program would work perfectly fine it's just that all your drawing objects would disappear and you might be left wondering what's happened so anyway I've already applied this to the chart so what I'm going to do is edit it and add some of the stuff that I did previously so first of all we're going to have some inputs and we're actually just going to be setting these levels I'm just going to call them level one two and three and let's just set those up as zero to start with and level three now you could obviously calculate these levels in some way if you wish to I just wanted to keep the program as simple as possible and uh, what we're also going to do well let's first of all let's just do the plot so we're just going to go plot one I'm going to plot level one plot two level two I'm sure you're very familiar with this it's not exactly advanced easy language but uh, you'll see we're going to be looking at a few slightly more complex things in a moment so okay so if we were to verify this and uh, it is already applied to the chart okay now you'll notice that because we had this applied to the chart previously and we had exactly the same input names that it's just reused those levels and you'll see we've got the top level the middle level and the bottom level now the bottom one is not such a good color so the first thing I'm going to do here is just go back and change the colors of these within the program we could also do that within the settings but uh, I'm just going to do it within the program here I'm going to set them to be green and white and then this one can be red like so we need to make sure we've got a, some quotes there okay so I'm going to verify this again Again, should look pretty much the same apart from the colors have changed okay so we're seeing our three lines now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to displace this a little bit to the right so I'm going to put in a minus number here like so verify it and we'll see that we have now got a little bit of space or rather the lines are being drawn five bars over to the right now you'll notice there is a little bit of a gap here between the end bar and the right of the chart and uh, I do that by going format window and you'll see here space to right currently it's set to 10 bars it's going to leave it at that okay so next thing we want to do is we want to add some text so we're going to do this just for one of the lines just to keep this simple and what I'm going to do is first of all create some variables to store the the uh, text in so I'm going to call it level 1 txt it's going to set that to be 0 and I'm going to say if text exist so this is asking the programs asking if there is already a text object with this reference and as I've just said we're going to use the reference L1 TXT I'm going to say if that is false then we're going to actually draw the text 
So we're going to say then begin end and to draw the text we're going to say lev one txt equals text new date time I'm going to put in the level which is level one and then we're going to also convert this level into a string because this is expecting string value. So num to string level one. And uh, it's going to do it to two decimal places. OK, so uh, what we're also going to do is set the style. So that is text set style. And we put in the reference then you've got a couple of options here if you right click on text set style you'll see the different various options in terms of the positioning of that text so this is if the text doesn't exist we're going to draw it for the first time however if it does exist what we need to do is we need to keep on repositioning it so we're gonna have another begin and end statement and what we're going to need to calculate work out now is the date and time of the most rightmost bar on the chart and we're going to use that using this thing get app info and get app info can have a number of different inputs but we're going to use AI write disp date time and this is going to tell us in date time format what the date and time is of that most right most bar incidentally if you want to see other things that get app info can do if you just right click definition of get app info you'll see all the things that uh, it can do so i'm going to say value three is equal to el date and what we're going to do is get the date from the in EL date format from this particular value. So we're going to go EL date month from date time. And we're getting that from value two. Day from date time again we're getting that from value 2 and then we want year from date time and again from value 2 like so and I just need to close the bracket there okay so now we need to set the location so we're going to go text underscore set txt location sorry that should be text set location okay and Going to put in the text reference which is lev1 txt it's the uh, reference that we've used previously we're going to put in the date which we now know is value three we've just calculated that we need to put in the time okay so we're going to say hours from date time we're going to multiply that by 100 because we need this to be in the standard uh, way of writing time plus minutes from date time again from value 2 so that's the uh, the reference the date the time and then finally we just need to do the level and the level is going to stay the same here throughout the program now 
if we actually were to change the level or the level change dynamically within the program, then not only would we have to set the location, but we'd also have to change the, uh, the value of that text object. In this case, we don't need to do that because level one stays the same and uh, we've got end there. So let's verify this, see if we've made any typing errors. OK, we've got some little problem here. OK, we need to put in an argument here, hours from date time value two, of course and uh, verify that again looks like we're okay now so if we go back to the chart you'll see we've got the number appearing here at the bottom and uh, as the price action develops as we get a new bar you'll see that this remains in this position so what i'll do is just leave this running for a few moments and um, you'll see that that price text remains in that same position OK, so there, there you saw it. And uh, if you wanted to draw labels for the other lines, then it simply would be a question of copying this, just creating a new um, text or rather a new variable for the text. For example, left two text, left three text, etc. And uh, drawing similar text objects and keeping them in the same position using this get app info of the AI, AI write display date time. Anyway, thank you very much.